Let's get a Nando, and every time that rabbit. To level six as well. I mean, they are going to hit that timing, so they're pretty good. Pretty good state. Six minutes in, still no kills. Hold that thought. Raging Potato getting first blood in the bottom lane. Diving on the tier one for that. Top lane there, going for this. Trying to jump in the scum below, who has plenty of one shot. This Lumic will get the play hot snipe with the rocket flare. Very nice call. The 2 0, oh, and Potato even gets the bounty win. Oh. Done. Now they don't have the range. Where's the SF? Take some of these bounty runes away. Yeah. Kron's still trying to jungle. Won't get the chance to build into the Mask of Madness just yet. Lumic is here to share the EXP. But Raging Potato did find March one more time. Anticipating that he was going for the bounty rune. Oh, the Hex. It's alright, the blocks. Getting the crush. Raging Potato getting the bounty runes and the kill halfway to a Blink Dagger. This Raging Potato Slada, leaning Slada, is working out. Looks like they found themselves one hero caught inside with the raise that's Tron in some serious hurt. And Carl. Carl. We'll finish him off with the cogs. They still have a Ravage available, but it's okay. Kraken Shell will not save you. Makes you wonder whether it was worth to go for stay looking for surprise. They put the ward down, he's going straight for play hard. They have heroes on the way. The cogs, great potatoes come into the party. Crush, they will find it. They have a Ravage as well, looking for the Anchor Smash. The Ravage will be thrown on right now. Terror Blade does not have Sunder. They get chased after this. Okay, hunting on. Ooh, not to die, still a double crush. Will it be enough damage? Don't know. They're severely lacking. Lumix are actually probably gonna die here under this tower. One more spank will go down to Skirmbaloo. Looking for the Astral Stomp. He will find it. Reggie Potato, now hunting, doesn't have the mana for the crush. Bait, yeah, she's very close, dragging them under the tower. Skirmbaloo going around. They will get one deny. Potato just ditched his teammates, and that will be a Ravage blown for nothing. Can start to invade the dire jungle. Thump will find the Carl. Oh, split it to follow. Holly, they have the shackle as well. Carl is dead. Gumbler trying to chase after Lumic. Father, raging Photos trying to run away. Yeah, it's just pushing out the top wave. Builds into his items. They're picking it out. Raging Photos will get a stun. Five. Think about going for Raging Potato, he does get the stun! And with the Astral, bang, down he goes. Raging Potato giving away a killing spree to March. And that's gonna delay his Blink Dagger. Have to swap, will they go for it? Or they knew. Or did he knew? Looking for the swap, he will go for it. Ooh, looking for the stun. Need the raises to land, do they have enough damage? He does not. Actually they do. Nando will find one, it looks like Carl's about to die one more time for his sins. Shackle. Requiem maybe? Nah, no, the chain stance perfect. And they will give the kill to Scumbaloo. Never mind, play hard will take it. Carl dying again just when he finally picked up some souls. Placing plenty of emphasis around. I just dead. They have Ravage. Are you sure you want to do this? They're going to try and steal the stack. Because there's where they're picking some heroes out. Lumic going to get stunned up. He has a hook shot. Shackle is there. Gonna try and steal as many of these ancient camps as much as they can together with Nando. They actually do clear the ancient stack very, very fast. Major Potato's gonna get a blink and they just run away from this. Woo -hoo -hoo. You're very, very happy right now if you're top lane. They're gonna try and make a play here. Ollie, but they drop the Serpent Wards for this to get the hex. Oh dear, Ollie. Droid by Raging Potato. And now chasing. A play hard, maybe. No, they decided. I mean, screw it. Let's just go straight for the tower. Objectives are key. Execration can melt him, but oh, they found a very nice hook. Ollie is caught. Seven one's gonna try and trap Lumic. Ollie will hold him in place. He's gonna take the manly place. That's a very nice us, but it will not catch the edge. And the seven one's being thrown down already. 20, 20 second spawn. If you're execration, you're quite content with that. And they still have the ravage available as well. Crimson God on the way up. 
Great Potato going into the stun initiation. Here comes the Ravage. It connects into everyone. Skirmble being caught. He has the Sunder. Onto the Raging Potato. Say what? Carl with the Razors will burn him down. And Raging Potato now on the run. Has to run away from Playheart. Yash. Standing in front for his teammates, looking for the stun. It will land onto Playheart. Mando gonna start rack kicking him down, has the swap available. But it will turn the fish to stone. But fishes don't taste very good, when, especially when they're stoned. And Nando looking for the swap. He's gonna find it onto Tron. Do we get the gush? Looking for the potato to crush. Now he's gonna go back in to get the amp. Tron is very low. The battery rest is still doing a fair bit of damage. It's March. Will not be able to get the impale just yet. No mana, but 17 one charges. Could think about going back in. He wants to go on Yash. The stomp. Thinking about it, but Yash is very, very tanky. He has a Vanguard. Two for one trade, and, uh, and Sean just goes back to farming. Hurricane Pike up. Ooh la la, they have found one. It will be play hard, but Nando with a double damage through to try and play impale. But the sidestep for Nando to swap around, and the hook coming in. Whoa, catching two wins at the cost. And Raging Potato gonna try and win this one down. If the amplified damage will be enough to kill off March, yes, they can. As March will pop. Still chasing, still chasing, Skumbaloo does not have Sunder, and Raging Potato on the sprint. Level 4 sprint, oh never mind, they'll just go for Ollie instead, hello good sir, hello, Ooh, still gets the right click trade, Ollie. Making sure that his sacrifice will not be in vain as Skumbaloo heads straight to the top lane. Mick, he's found Ollie trapping him, it's at the cogs, no hookshot will be required to this day, not today sir. And with the raises, Carl cleans up. Top of the net worth. Wanna fight this? Hookshot, they've caught the Terra Blade. They have to fight. They don't have a choice. Looking for the stun. Skirmble needs to sunder. But the Ravage in the nick of time. It's gonna land on everyone. As Lumic. Lumic get brought down by March. Then this is where they turn. The Sunder as well. March with the double. And somehow, the Geeks have won this fight. Our next piece coming in. They found Carl. Or follow up, they don't want to go for this. They're happy with what they got, but Carl's coming back in. Oh, never mind. Quick hex. And Skumbaloo is like, Are you sure? Rage Potato, the tree man crush. That's big. But what's the follow up? Skumbaloo needs to turn this around. He doesn't have a Sunder. Keeping him in place. Trying beautiful stone gaze. And somehow, Execration are throwing this fight. And Carl, Aegis is popped. Not sure what he was doing going like that, but Raging Potato will finish off Skumbaloo. The snipe at the back. And can they kill him off? They don't have the stuns. They will have to back off. Losing bulky position once for that. Very unusual fight of what's going on. I'm not sure what Carl was thinking going Lumic being there. They will smoke up immediately. It breaks. Lumic with the rune. Put the sentry down. They found him. Lumic could try to hook away. He is trying to hook away. Yep, he will hook away to Potato. The teamwork from Execration. He's actually going to survive the stomp. Still catches him in the place. Gush. The turnaround too much with the anchor smash. Falling quite low, but they don't want to blow any more spells onto him. But fear what Lolly from the back, they have the hex, looking for the shackle as well. They have found him, the wreck is coming up from Carl. Ollie will get demolished. Lumix still alive. Now using the hook shot. The wreck of souls on the back. And Carl, he's just gonna man fight Playhard, and Playhard's definitely dead. Looking for the raise. One more right click. Playhard with the jukes. Hello, sir. What? And over the back, potato. And friends, they will take care of March. Carl has finally found Playhard. Yeah, you're not running away from this guy. So it will be three heroes dead. Well, the two cores, the two carries are farming their best. They buy back out inside the enemy jungle. Nando and friends, they have found Skumbaloo, who will die. And that will be the tier 3 tower about to fall here as Tron in the world of hurt. Doesn't have the mana for the stone gaze. He's going to hold his ground. Now he does. The Mr. Snake's return. The raise. Somehow holding this. Don't have the Ravage yet. Yash doesn't have the mana to get the crush. Arch is caught. Ravage now flies out, catching two heroes. Stone gaze is there, and they will have to disengage. It looks like they have found one. It will be the Tide Hunter. Very messy fight. The swap out from Nando. Missing the crush. But Sean, he's most definitely dead. And it looks like we may see a buyback out here. Yep, it will be used by Skumbaloo. He's going to try and look for some kills here. Popping the jump charges, but they don't want to walk out at the base. The last thing you want right now is to force out the Medusa buyback as well. So Execration, while missing the Carapace. March, they want to find Yash. Taking care of all that armor with the stun, with the Metamorphosis as well. Ooh, dear, that cancelled the Shackle? 
that damage though very very painful and then the swap out from Nando Yash to Ravage on 3 but what's the follow up the stone gate the hook the car one Lumic he's isolated Chon and March Scumble will take care of Nando it looks like they will take care of Lumic as well two heroes dead March still cut alive Ready to potato can't even finish him off March is kept safe by the Serpent Wall, it's the Serpent Wall! What a play! That's Geek Fan, but never mind, Carl actually used the E-Raise and cheekily snipe him off. 3 for 1 trade. The Ravage, I, I think he was spamming R, but... Oh dear, and Geek Fan, have they found a big opening? Yeah, it's going into the gush. The reflection's gonna be there, SF. The damage return is quite painful, now looking with the ups to the Yash. Bang and Yash will be in some serious trouble as Carl thinking about popping the BKB Wrecking Muscle. He's gonna unleash the Max Spicy, but now going into Oli and going with the raises, Oli will end up going down as the Talent to survive through all of that. Playout's actually gonna get out. Meanwhile, Korea has got it out the Roshan. He's in the Korea forward. Scumble is in some trouble. Doesn't have the Sunder. Carl's still chasing after him. He wants blood. Goes for the raises instead. Shree. Oh the hook shot, they found one! Hello, here comes the here comes the prize. Play hard in trouble. If he dies, that could be a disaster with the force that forward. Safe. Now the Ravage comes out. On to three. The record of souls is unleashed. And they will take out one. And march to follow him into the grave. Two heroes with no buyback. Carl going straight for Tron, laying out the raiders and Yash throwing the gush. Then of course here comes the swap. Tron, nowhere to go, no mana for the stone gates. He's dead now immediately buying back for the laying on the stone gates. They caught one hero. It will be Nando to come inside. But he doesn't actually care. Shadow Shaman will buyback as well, shipping away into the melee barracks. And Nano might actually die here, he has the Aegis, it's okay. Laying on the Mystic Snakes. No, the Shadow Blade still alive. Now with the turnaround, he went straight for a Blade Mail actually. Chuan, gonna try and hold his ground. Nano with that right click, he's doing way too much onto Chuan because of the amplified damage and Ollie trying to hold Carl in place. Let's get three heroes today. Carl trying with the Razor Skull Blue. Has a Sunder, using it to Yash. Can he kill Carl? The high ground misses. And down he goes, four heroes dead. Chuan trying to 1v3. Still holding this, Ollie is back up in a bit, Yash has the gush, the blade mill, the swap, trying to kill Carl, the Lincoln Spear, Chuan probably will die here, 90 seconds without buyback. They're still trying to hold, they're still trying to hold. The ET, Carl, he's so low. EHP, he's gonna blink out, he is pushing this hero to the limits, but he actually died to the creep. Uh, I don't think so, he's gonna be f Wanna find Yash? Trying for the Lotus Orb play. No, blink out. Very, very desperate. Yash is standing in the front line. They will try for a stop. The swap. The Ravage. Can he pull Scumble off? Yes, they can. Scumble is dead. They will need to force the buyback out here. But, force that. Hook. No, let's put the stone gates. Looks like they're trying to find one, but the big targets looks like they will get the clockwork only. They're looking for more. They want to keep on fighting. They understand the bigger prizes is not the clock, but they're gonna try and leave him behind. They get the hex onto Yash. Ooh, nice double stomp. Can they find Nando? They need the stun they need the stuns. March, where's the impale? On to two! Catching Yash and Nando as well. Both are dead. No mana on either of these heroes. This is the turnaround fight. And they actually will get two. Now looking for a bit more. Grumble needs to be careful. No buyback. Lumic somehow still alive after all of this. Ooh, top lane. They're gonna try and turn this one around. They're gonna pop the Wrecking of Souls. The Max Spicy flies out. Scumble of Rage Potato is dead. Can he get the Sunder off? No, he cannot. Let's him die back for 100 seconds. And without Carl, perhaps Execration can think about regrouping to try and push up the top. Fortification will be used. They have all their big spells back up. Looking for the Stomp. Man, you need some big plays, I'm not sure how. But Carl, he's going straight for the tier 3 tower and together with Nando. Going for the stomp, oh, the crush as well, the stone gates will be popped in the nick of time. Looking for the Wrecking Muscle, trying to blow him off. Jacko keeping in place, looks like he actually will find Nando, but let it go to the hook shot. Catching two, trying to save Nando, but doesn't make it in the nick of time. And Chano actually get right click down, doesn't have buyback for 80 seconds. Oliver getting destroyed by Carl, raises him to the ground, the double is there. Raising him to the crush, March is dead. And this is GG right here. Earth Spinner. Okay, down goes Carl. Got like Street going away. Play hard. Gonna try and hold his ground as the Nyx Assassin may be forced to use his buyback here. Two lanes of Rax. They can't push. It's just a tight slot and clockwork. And Terrorblade's up in 10 seconds. I take that back. Not GG. Yeah, play hard, still alive. 
Slowly sieging away. They want to take the melee racks, but they can't. The terror blades up. It's going to TP into the fray, I feel. And this is where they want to try and fight here. Raging Potato canceling the blade, looking for the stomp. Raging Potato in some serious trouble. Can they right click him down? Using the Lotus of Will get the debuff off. And actually, Scumbler pops the metamorphosis. It's wasted. See if he can cancel them. In the butterfly. Oh, misses the stun already. So they will know where March is. Got it, Raging Potato wants to debut that Shadow Blade. That's gonna stun into Yash. They're picking out the Nyx, like they know he's being problematic. How of the Nyx, like they have the heroes to stall. The range racks will probably fall. Oh, hold on, the Ravage is blown already, and they will take care of Tron. He will be forced to buy back out here, I feel. Skimbaloo. Alright, Skimbaloo. Oh, he's dead. Won't even get the chance to use his spells. DL's potential on to three heroes. That's big. Play hard. They will burn the Aegis. SF is down. Clock is to fall into the grave as well. And somehow Geek Fam are holding this. Holy mother of Jesus Christ. And Raging Potato is still stuck on that cliff. They know he's there. Nando doesn't let it go in by himself. Wanna find Raging Potato? Inside the trees. Four staff. Oh, they found the vision on him. With the stun, down he goes. Three heroes dead, Geek Fam. The geeks say no siree. Break another tier 3 tower as March already set up. The swap, they go straight for him first, and they will take care of the cancerous hero, which will be March. Looking for the Ravage, potentially going to Geek Fam. But the immediate hex reaction is out here from Ollie. Can he hold the action place? He needs to bring him down. What's more, the Usher will find him to two. The Ravage out onto everyone on the side, but no one can get the professional out at all. Cards to pop the Wrecking Ball Soul. Trying to find Manfighter here. Popping the BKB, he's gonna try and chase Tron down. Rage Potato already take care of Scamblu. Call will just run out the base. Two for one. What the heck is this game? So much fighting is still nowhere close to being over. And top lane, they do get the range racks. Nando trying to rat. They know that the Earth Spider is not there. March is gonna try and go for the stuns. It will land. Won't put anyone to sleep from the side of Play Hunt. There will be a shocker from Oli, but he turns things around. Carl popping the BKB. And the Satanic just man's fights his way through Tron. And they will look to take themselves another Beanie Barracks. March, the Lotus Orb will not save you. Thinking about popping the campus. Missing the Impale, has the Crimson Gun, and the tier 3 tower going down. This could actually be Megas right here. Cox pushing March back. They'll go for the melee, no fortification. Actually, now they do. They, now they pop it. Still holding this one lane of racks. Carl comes back in. Potato with the crush. Can he kill March? I think he can. March, March, March. He survives it. Tron with the damage. The range racks is still alive. Carl needs to try and rack to this down. Tron, Carl with the safe tank, he's gonna hold his ground. Now they have to get out this one range racks. March, he wants to initiate here onto someone. Only building to survive this is this range racks, which does not have any region. And play hard, hello, sir. This guy is carrying very, very hard from the. Look for some kills here. Need to back down. March going for the impale initiation on here on TI. They're looking for the stomp as well. They want to try and trap him off. Scary stuff. But he's gonna be okay. Forget the refresher shot Ravage was used earlier on for that. Geek fam, they're going straight for the tier 3 tower. They want to try and fight this. Oh, the fourth staff they found Tron. Ready to the sneaky play. Now the Ravage on everyone. Five hero Ravage. Tron the West to follow up. He's just ever so tanky. Looking for the Earth for this now. Carl goes down. No buyback for 100 seconds. This could be a superbly huge turnaround here for Geek Fan as they will start to go for the objectives with Robin the tier 3 tower. Skumbaloo. Corrosive Haze is undispellable. They will hold that ground. Skumbaloo happy here. Talk to a push march back. And they will get that first tier 3 tower, it seems. Data looking for a nice crush. Yeah, it's coming in. Oh, the swap out from Nando. Looks like they actually will bring Skumbaloo down. He does have buyback. Trying to pop their spells out here. The stop will land. Buyback out from the SF immediately. They want to try and fight this. Play hard. He actually will bash Nando down. Nice double crush. The Impale coming out. Oli will also buy back. They're looking for one more Earth Splitter. Call. No, this time playing hard, very lackluster first but, but still, oh, the character from March, getting in, might even get Rage Potato, March trying to burn to the ground for the region, will not succeed, as actually, meanwhile, in the enemy base, the range tracks, it is the Megas, to the creeps, 
Play hard will die to the creeps, but now Geek Fam will be forced to play against the Mega Creeps' disadvantage. The to the double ravage, they don't have a choice. Tron's gonna stand his ground with the blade mill. Gumbaloo as well. Can he do it the crush to the back line and to Ollie? They were gonna bring him down. He doesn't have buyback, he is dead. Us but a friend is up. Play hard, 26 seconds, doesn't want to use the buyback just yet, but Trent pops the stone gates preemptively, not able to get any DPS off it, he actually just taunting them, he has the Ravage, he uses it now, he has the second one, with the secondary Ravage, Tron, everyone is stunned, and everyone is dead, Geek Fam is gone, Game 2 goes the way of Execration, and we will see a Game 3 in this winner's bracket series, ladies and gentlemen, for the GESCC qualifier between Geek Fam and Execration.